you something and it just sticks there. They like an hour later. Damn, I forgot to tell you, you got some shit in your beard. Like I said, you don't like, hey, I already know I smell it. I smell it. I've been trying to get it. I'm saving for the next hot dog. I've been wondering where that was. As usual. Like, damn, somebody still cooking? No, it's a beer. I didn't do that. Do what? Oh, god damn it, Jacob. We really recording now? That seems to be the truth. It's a damn ghost I in this bitch. I didn't do that. I'm getting the fuck out of here. It's a ghost. There's a ghost. Oh, shit. Brian, your damn shit just cut on, son. For real, that's like it's like It just started recording. Yeah. White like noise over here. It's possessed. And we haven't... He didn't hit record and it just started recording. It's recording. This is the podcast. Yeah, yeah things are like, man, this is good. We can catch this shit on tape. Son of a bitch. Are you guys ready for us to <laughs> This is forever. <laughs> Remember, art is immortal and so is your mistakes. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, so don't you pull that no, from? No pressure, y'all. Yeah, he <laughs> works in a prison. <laughs> yeah, this is that's true. That's prison that's, talk. There's a lot of philosophy. There's another prison. That's okay, like and it, um, I got to point out there's a bunch of there's a bunch of unknown voices for the listeners right now. So let's go into intros. Uh, welcome to the Future Villains <laughs> Podcast. My name is Jacob Bass of the Realm Hotter. I am Brian Brian Pico. Jeremy the Coach Brooks. Chris Braddock. And special guest Joshua Culverson. Gaius Agritera. South Georgia boys, baby. South Georgia. <laughs> 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 uh, my these, boys here. These are, yeah, these are the boys. These are the guys. You guys, I probably should have looked up a podcast you guys talked about it on. Was it the Blood Pack podcast? Um, yeah. I haven't done what a podcast in a while. One? Kingdom Coronation. The, the last part. one was the three uh, main FTV guys. I haven't, I haven't done one in a while. So um, I don't know. I know they did with the Kingdom I mean, Coronation they were talking about coming Yeah, it's something talking about leather working and taking naps or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's it. leather yeah, working and taking naps. Working it's an amp guard adventure. Who was taking naps? You were taking naps. You were taking naps. Remember, you, <laughs> took a, you took a nap while he didn't want any hot chocolate. I don't want Brian any hot got chocolate. The hot chocolate. And okay, I'm this is this is I don't like hot chocolate, man. No. <laughs> <laughs> now we I know. don't like hot chocolate. Yeah, that Charlie was that was here was earlier was well, I'm buying hot chocolate. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, all yeah, about hot chocolate, and yeah. I told him to give it to Brian. So. I remember all that night. Yeah. I knew exactly who. Whenever you were describing that exchange, I wasn't there, but I knew exactly. And who I was trying to about. find this boy because of the way you him. the way you talked about how Charlie did that. He like walks up like, "Hey, I got you some hot chocolate," and and Josh is like, "I don't, I don't, I don't drink chocolate." I don't enjoy good things. No, that's so, not true. I just so, don't like chocolate. And, and, Wasn't it hot out, from what I understand? Yeah. Hmm? Wasn't it hot out? Well, it's not that. Yes. He, he doesn't like chocolate. That's, Who hey, drinks hot chocolate when it's I don't hot. like chocolate either. No, no, no. no. That's what's up. Yeah. You always, chocolate. You always right. drink hot chocolate. I don't like chocolate at all. That's why I like my skin tone. Yeah. What? So By the way, that's was, not where I was going with that. That's where I'm going. Hey, I took the right turn off the interstate and went to the back room. So well, you know Podcast what? listeners, it was episode 14. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, cool! Got episodes and everything, man. Like, and working. like yeah. Star Trek. That's cool. This We're is. trying. <laughs> oh, that's that's the time I freaking Brian took off and went with Joe. I'm like, yeah, yeah. The fuck is so, Brian. So like Charlie tries to give, <laughs> give Josh the, the the hot chocolate, and Josh is like, you know, I don't, you know, enjoy don't stuff. Do, don't do hot chocolate. So and then like the way he talked about it was like, so Charlie, so the guy's like, um, well, do do you want some hot chocolate? And Brian's like, hell yeah, because I like good shit. And <laughs> but the, that that way that he delivered the line, he captured Charlie perfect. That's yeah, how Charlie. Really did. I was like, that was Charlie, and the guy that didn't want the hot chocolate. I know that's Josh. Yeah, I don't like chocolate. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I find it funny. I was just looking at the episodes here. You kept talking about dumpster fires earlier. Yes. Oh man. One of our episodes is called "Larping in a Dumpster Fire." <laughs> oh. That's um. Nope. Mm-mm. Nope. I don't think we can talk about that. Don't, yeah. don't talk about things you don't want to. I don't yeah. think we can. No, I mean, because like, well, I can what? I can hear a certain person well, calling me about that tomorrow. Well, I mean, all right. So anytime, my house any, now. anytime, <laughs> any little thing gets kicked up in in any kingdom, there's always oh, we got the dumpster fire going. Oh yeah, it's almost like a competition with people that want to call that out. Like we got the worst dumpster fire. They couldn't decide on what kind of. Mid rain they wanted to do. Our kingdom's literally a dumpster fire. Yeah, really, yeah. I mean, well, they've been voting on it for a day, so maybe. Well, hell, we call a and... dumpster fire like ugly women. Well, yeah. Damn, that's one piece of dumpster fire right there you don't want to touch. No, I mean, or it's like some kids are like, man, they put they put mustard in the, the potato salad. That's such a dumpster fire. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, Actually, that is yeah. a dumpster fire. What the hell is that shit? <laughs> I know. <laughs> no, no, who eats potato salad? I got you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shit, nasty. Yeah, damn. Gross. What? 
It's gross. The dates are. Exactly. I thought you said what? I was like, what the hell? Yeah, that's true. No, who is that? I'd rather really eat hot plate of shit than touch potato salad. But mm. I'd rather eat potato salad than chocolate, so. Oh, well, yeah. Good call. Yeah. If it had to do one before, I'd jump off a bridge. Oh, man. You were the abortion that got away. You know? That's crazy. The oh, one Jesus that Christ. got oh. away. The whoa, 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 the <laughs> So, anyway, so, yeah. Uh, it's a LARPing, yeah. I mean, that's what we do. <laughs> <saying. laughs> yeah. yeah, we do that. Yeah, boy, well, yeah. yeah, we that do, was, we yeah. That. Just bitch about that's chocolate. Good, and... I am good with segues, man. Like, and I want to point man. out, I'm going to give him shit for this when he gets back. Yeah. We've been to podcasts for a year and three months. This motherfucker's got chips. <laughs> like the worst thing you can have on a podcast. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy my snack. <laughs> you guys are talking about the ASMR crowd is going nuts. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> now we're drawing new audiences, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How to build a following? Four hours of Gaia City potato chips. Oh good. Oh good. He's recording this. Brian doesn't know how to podcast after a year and so of recording podcasts. Give him credit. He chips. Oh, this is a mortal sin. Oh, no, I did that on purpose. <laughs> he at least took them out of the bag. What's up, tripod? Oh, oh, yeah, he at least took them out of the I'm bag. I'm not doing tripod's job. I'm here to deliver two tripods. Uh, is so, it all? Yeah, it's all. It's recording. Oh. So, Villains! <laughs> how you doing here? <laughs> tripod here. <laughs> Surrounded by a whole bunch of black people. Check that white people. And Chris. <laughs> Yeah, Chris, Chris. You black as fuck. I can't. Anyway, always. We're here at this guy's birthday party. A luau. How about the needy? How about the mighty heady? Kuka. And uh, we're doing actually, we're doing a live podcast. Wow. What? I did it again. He did it again. We, did it again. Well, hey, we are alive. We're live. We're live. We're live, we're live. We're live really. as hell. We're live. We just have a really delayed reaction. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and announce it here, just to, to make you happy. We, I am figuring out a way to do it live. <laughs> just for you. Just yeah. for you. Just so he has to say live every time now. He'll, 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 he'll forget to say it. We're yeah. live! He'll then, forget to say it. Y'all be doing live, and he'll be like, are, are we recording now? We're recording. So I can say this, and you can You're just edit it out this, later, right? Because right? I've got yeah. chips. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, all right. So the chips. Like I thought about this while ago when I saw the scene. There, remember it came. No, well you weren't in there. You were over in the uh, cafeteria or, or the the tavern. Somewhere um, getting in trouble. I'm sure. So I hadn't like eaten all day. It was like the first night we were there. I hadn't eaten nothing, and I'm like starving. Right. And we got everything unpacked, and it was man, it was probably like eleven thirty, twelve o'clock. So I'm I'm laying in there, and I I asked Brenda, my wife. Uh, do we, do we have anything I can snack on? She's like, yeah, there's some snacks over there under one of the cots one of the kids was in. So I get me a Coke, opening a Coke, and the while people are sleeping in this cabin, is you know. <laughs> 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 okay, I got it open. One time thing, done. Yeah, sweet. So I set my Coke down. <clears throat> what kind of snacks we got? The most covert snack in the world, Doritos. <laughs> I pick up the bag. <laughs> <laughs> nah, this shit ain't. <laughs> Put that down and look around. Oatmeal cream pies. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, that's, man. It. that's where it's at. Man, you oh, would. Yeah, you could, like, you could sit there and just pounce on oatmeal cream pie. That'd be, that's, that's like a, it's a snack silencer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not a pee. Until you get that juice yeah. yeah. Until you get that juice bar. The only thing is the wrapper's like a <laughs> full. So you like rip that open and you know, it's like. It's you, the static from yeah. the Yeah. So I, I ended up having to take all my snacks and going over to the mess hall. I don't know that I keep saying mess hall. We went in the army. I, I keep going over. The, I went over to the tavern to eat my snacks and shit over there. And I sat there and ate me like a couple oatmeal cream pies. And I'm sitting down at the table with y'all. And I sat down. I haven't eaten. This is the moment. I'm fixing to get to eat. And I'm super excited about it. I open my box. And I sit down, and somebody looks at me and goes, hey, can I have one of those? <laughs> but I haven't eaten all day. Well, I just want one. There's, I was there for this. I know, yeah, you yeah. were there. I was like, I haven't eaten all day. I'm like, I just want one. But. <laughs> <sighs> so I hand one out, and somebody's like, can I have one too? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. I'm see where this shit's going. I've counted how many people this is a table. Fuck all y'all. Oh, these is mine. <laughs> but I gave one out because, you know, I don't like seeing people cry. Mm. 
So anyway, I had my oatmeal cream pies and I went back to bed. I mean, it's a, it's a really boring story, but the Doritos <laughs> is the thing that made me remember it because I'm sitting there trying to, I'm looking at this bag of Doritos in my bed with people around me trying to sleep thinking, how the hell am I going to get those out of there? It into me. <laughs> <laughs> Without waking up nobody. I take them outside and you stomp the bag is what you do. <laughs> and turn them into crumbs and just pull them in your mouth. <laughs> That's the only way. Because you can't even eat them quietly. As y'all heard a minute ago. <laughs> and that's why you don't eat Doritos at night. No. Especially as someone that's making love. Or on a podcast. <laughs> or on a podcast. Oh, I will be eating. Ladies and gentlemen, that story was told by the man I said that looked like motherfucking Johnny Depp. Well, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah I you know. <laughs> He hit his head with a shovel or something. Yeah, John <laughs> Depp. And he still... G- <coughs> anyway. Damn burrito. We go. <laughs> oh, bucks. And the hot dogs are also expertly cooked by a tripod. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hot dogs. Everything and... that come off the grill is really good. So. Yeah. They're, they're, you yeah. know what? Thank you very much. Because, you know... Oh, no, thank you. Thank you. I am Tiger Woods. Yeah. I know. Thank you. Everybody really enjoyed your meat. I think it was the same thing. My meat is delicious and tasty. You throw it in a bun. I'm, I know how to marinate my meat. Hey, I didn't marinate your meat, all right? You marinated his meat? Yeah. Okay. That's why we got our own LARPing thing now. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> is that how that works? That's how it works. Is that how that gets together? Oh, We've shit. been doing it wrong. I feel like we need to start over. <laughs> yeah. We'll be on the way home tomorrow. You two, you two should probably talk about that. Brian talk. The, the Marinating the, the Not meat. The soup. Oh my god! I keep well, I the see. Lord. I got the. the uh, I got uh, some chicken it's breast tenderloin and just chopped it up and put it yeah, in the and marinate it. I just let it. Set. I let it marinate for almost twenty four hours. What the hell are you talking about? He said, "Talk about it." Well, not the meat. Thank you. Like I didn't know. Well, finish this meat. <laughs> finish, oh, well, anyway. finish. Finish. Go ahead. Finish so, talking about it. Yeah, no, we want that recipe now. About, yeah. about an hour. It's like it's Listen Lowry's. up, all recipes. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah, all recipes. Oh, We're coming man. for all right. it. You can do the recipe, but do it in, in the style of Justin Wilson. Oh, oh shit, am I the only one old enough to damn know who Justin yeah. was in? Screw all you kids, man. Kids? Well, you're yeah. like 52, so... Yeah, see? <laughs> Justin Wilson. Nobody knows who Justin Wilson is. He's like a Cajun cook, man. He was funny. He was sitting there and like, he's like, I'm going to pour a little bit of wine in here. Oh, shit, I'm going to pour a little bit more wine in there. That's going to be real good. <laughs> Sounds like the Bob yeah. Ross of cooking. Yeah, let me, <laughs> let me put some cayenne pepper in there. Oh, shit, I'm going to put a whole bunch of cayenne pepper in there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't measure nothing. Just, uh, just dump shit in there. That sounds fantastic. It was <laughs> great. But where is this so, going now? <laughs> now we're stuck with. Dad, when he did the cooking show, he's like 80. Oh, okay. Yeah, That's so, why he did. Yeah, That's I mean, so he, he looks like he looks like a uh, you know, like your grandpa or something if he was like an old Cajun. Uh, but the thing was, the guy was like a comedian for the longest time, so he's sitting there cooking, and he's telling you jokes and stuff while he's cooking. So, not like any of the other cooking shows now where they actually explain what they're doing. <laughs> he's just talking to you, and that's why you watched him was for the stories. Mm-hmm. So you sat there watching yep, it. Yep, Bob Ross of cooking. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, well, he's just painting and talking about, you know, his day and stuff. You know, like, oh, yeah, and just, bam, five seconds masterpiece. And that's what Joseph Wilson cooking was like, you know. And he wouldn't, you know. I got All right, you know how whenever they do a cooking show, they, 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 like, stick something in the oven, and they turn around and talk to you, and they reach around, and they open up an oven and pull out a cooked one. Yeah. Yeah, that, that is not a magic oven. See, he did, he's like, he, he he would stick it in the oven he's, and you turn on that, that on for tree 50 for, you know, two hours. And he'd open up the other one, this one, one they already cooked earlier and pull it out. You know, he didn't even go to the illusion like, yeah, we just cooked it real fast. You know, nah, shit, we just cooked this one earlier before the show. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's incredible. Yeah, I mean, like, I mean, no lie, I'm going to look up this and try I, to watch every single episode. I, I didn't learn how to cook anything. But I did learn some really cool ass stories from that from that whole guy. That's the best part about it. Yeah, that was the whole point of watching. That's right. And I don't think we have enough Cajun people in the media. That's true. I think we need more Cajun entertainers. Have you? Have you? That's how you end up. You can't understand them. I mean, God bless them. Yeah, that's That's my thing. Have you You talked to a lot of Cajuns? I I can understand (laughs) some of them. Like like when I went. Well, I mean, obviously they can't speak Creole when they're pretty. This like, oh yeah, man, go down there, got that down there, gotta get some baby meat. Yep. It's like you're going to the bite to get some meat. Okay, <laughs> have fun. A lot of people can't translate that shit. <laughs> you like to see homos naked. <laughs> <See what? laughs> that's it, yeah. That's, that's it right there. That's just that's a little guy. Yeah. That looks like he can talk. I have seen that guy. He's like a Cajun, like Colonel Sanders is what he can do. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm gonna have to watch him now. I know, like right? Colonel I'm telling you, look at all the Yeah, he kind of looks like Colonel Sanders. Sanders. You got that look. He's like a Cajun Colonel Sanders. Yeah. I thought you said he was a Cajun like Colonel Sanders. And I was thinking, man, you don't know where Cajun people No, you gotta, you, gotta, you, gotta, <laughs> you gotta use all You're the words myself. Oh, shit. Team. Squirrel hunting, Brooks. Hey, let me oh, see. Oh, shit. There was a city snaking friend with me what went hunting for squirrel a year before that. You went in the swamp down near where I live. And it's a lot. Oh wait, no, that's that preacher. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's scary one. Yeah. They want to hit you with a jacket. Damn Why you don't? They want to knock you the hell out. Let me hold that jacket. So what's in there? A brick? So yeah. So that's that's the cooking show. I gotta watch that. Say anything about cooking? Barely. But it's good. I mean, I'm that's the watch point. It. He probably just told you what he was going to make, and then he made it. He's just listened yeah. to him and watched. We forgot to make it. It's like the owl <laughs> thing, man. Like, yeah, step we... one, draw a circle. Step two, draw the rest of the fucking owl. We, 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 <laughs> we, we, <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, oh man. Shit. The rest of the fucking owl. Yeah. That's a good subreddit. Well, you know. <laughs> Oh, that's man. how we teach people how to fight. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> yeah, sword. exactly. Step one, pick up a sword. Step two, kill the other guy with it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> then there's some steps in between. What? I mean, all right, guys, what's the battle plan? Don't fucking die, all right? <laughs> right. It's a no, shatter this, battle. Don't die. This is the man we're lining up in a two-line ditch. Yeah. It's like, all right, we need a strategy. Right. No, 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 hold on. He's got, I got it, I got it, I got it. Stop. Well, let me preface this. Josh is one thing Josh is really good at. Really good at strategy. He's he's constantly he's got strategy going. This is how we're gonna do this. If they do this, we're gonna do that. If he's fighting you one on one, you can watch Josh and he's working it out. He's working it out how to pick apart your defense and your attacks and everything, how to get you. Strategy what he does. I don't do that. <laughs> I go out there and I was like, Josh, you want me to tell you what I'm thinking when I'm out there fighting? Yeah. Well what are you thinking? I'm thinking, I need to hit him with my fucking sword. <laughs> and he's sitting there waiting anticipating for my follow up and I was like that's it that's all I got I'm just... it's frustrating so we go out there and Josh I see Josh over there he's like talking to our team right and he's like alright so we need to I walk up and I was like alright y'all this is the plan cluster fuck left and Josh is like wait no I was like fighters ready lay on and we go out there and they just go and fuck off and do their own thing and we won and it Josh was the was dumbest like, thing. And Josh is like, 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 why how? would that work? Because they were used to fighting somebody with a plan. <laughs> Have you not seen anything about World War II? That's not how that no, works. No, no, no. That's All not right. how any of this no, works. No, 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 Wait, no. Terrible it, example. No, no, no. Listen. No, World War II, the Germans actually made the comment, like, listen, you can fight the British, you can fight the French. You can't fight the Americans because I don't even think they know what the fuck they're going to do. <laughs> Better example would have been the Revolutionary War or something. No, no, no. Seriously, well, that was a comment comment. that the Germans they made. They didn't yeah. really understand how to fight Americans because they weren't doing normal yeah, yeah. tactical shit. They were just going out there and cluster fuck left. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the most frustrating moments of my entire young guard career. If uh, I do the slightest episode, I would call it cluster fuck left. Yeah. So, I mean, all right. Oh, yeah. So if, yeah, if I could do an amp guard strategy like Patton, where I could just like drive in the middle of the heart of our enemies and then call in an artillery, fire <laughs> on our location, because I know we're in tanks and it ain't going to hurt us. That's what I would do. That's not, um, you can't. It works. <laughs> it worked. Duh. It did. It did. Well, that's hard to argue with. <laughs> <laughs> that would just call it shock and awe. Yeah. Yeah. Shock and awe is what happened to our strategy phase. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, try to come up with a good plan. Yeah. What's frustrating is when you have a good plan and nobody follows it. All right, everybody, we're going to present a single line and we're going to move forward. And when I say break, I'm going to split off in two directions. All right, everybody Where's ready? The fuck left. All right. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, no. And then at the beginning, <laughs> it's like, okay, here we go. <clears throat> Weapons up, lay on. And everybody just runs the hell off. Or if that was, all right, so this was after two rounds of Josh trying to do that with him. Jesus. And, and no, I mean, and our part, our fighters are pretty good, but anytime you get, I mean, you get people together, and a lot of times it's like herding cats. So because anybody out there that's experienced with amp guard fighting and LARP fighting knows, like, the, the struggle. To, I mean, if you don't have a fighting company, you don't have people that are regularly <laughs> fighting. Real. The, the struggle, struggle with is taking, very real. The struggle with taking a bunch of people that haven't been trained to fight together and getting on a fight as a unit is, 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 is a little difficult. Yeah. <laughs> so when Josh is doing that, he's used to his fighting company that works. they got a plan. They execute plan. 
and it works. But when you've got a bunch of irregular soldiers out there, and you tell them to do a thing, and they're like, we don't speak the same language. So they don't do that thing. It don't work. So when I walk up, and I basically give them permission to do what they were doing anyway, they're not confused about what their goal is. They know that we got to kill the other team. They're confused about what the fuck they were supposed to do. So I give them permission to cluster fuck left. Yeah. <laughs> so they do that and they execute that perfectly. I yes. love that cluster fuck left. And, and they go out there, they execute it perfectly and, and it worked. So they weren't running around going, oh man, am I in the right spot? They were just running around, yes, yeah, this is it. <laughs> Got it's em. terrible. It's so frustrating because all it is is like a close hanger abortion of strategy. But <laughs> 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 <Like> it worked. <laughs> so oh so I can't be That's mad the at the it. episode. <laughs> close <laughs> hanger. All right. So oh my, my only response I got for this, Josh, Good. is you know <laughs> uh, I'm a pirate. No, it I'm worked. Pirate. You can't be mad at it. Look, if it's if it looks stupid, but it works, it ain't stupid, mm. right? Exactly. So I, I'm just left <laughs> mad about it, really. Yeah, I just like the Captain Kirk rule. Yeah, that's stupid too. Yeah, that's so stupid, but it kills your ass every time. I'm just gonna leg you and run away from that one. <laughs> <laughs> I can't reach you like that. Leave you, leg you, and leave you. I it, it hasn't missed once. This, you're the only person that hits me on that hip. Right, and the only way is with the dumbass Captain Kirk rule. It's the stupidest thing. It's. <laughs> Stupid thing. It's it's a great thing. You it, love it. It's the one. No, I can't stand it. it. No, there's no reason why it should work, but it does. It's y'all like, haven't seen me do this today because I didn't want to get too dirty because I got to wear this garb for park tomorrow. So I, mean, I, I go out there and I purposely try to get legged, and, and I'm gonna give away a secret, but it don't matter because Josh knows it and it still works. On yeah, it's one of those dumb like optical illusions. You're where not gonna you know be the trick, but you still <clears> can't <throat> see the gray dots or whatever. Yeah, really. So I go out there, I get legged on purpose, and I drop down, you know, shield leg forward. You know, we're not dead leg forward and everything behind the shield. And I'm sitting there kind of cowering behind my shield. You know, I'm a sitting duck. And they press in on me. And I take my shield, and it's a punch shield, and I punch it up high. And you just kind of roll over on your back, and you throw like a high cross right into their hip as you roll, like Captain Kurt. <laughs> and you come back up on your knees, and they're dead and pissed off. <laughs> Fuck this not, quick. not in that order. <laughs> no, generally get pissed watching it, going, "This is stupid," and now I'm dead. And it's a slow <clears> shot. <throat> you you have time to think this will never work, and then you feel it hit you. <laughs> <laughs> it's the oh, dumbest man. thing. But and that's my strategy. The um, dumbest thing. Yes. How, I'd be mad at it if it didn't work so often. How much stupid shit have you ever seen me throw at you? All of it. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I killed you from my knees one time because I tried something stupid, which was jumping from your knees to get your shoulder. Yeah, and how's it that worked. What are you doing, by the way? <laughs> it hurts because it was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but you was dead. Yes. Well, the pain is temporary, but victory is forever. Yeah. That's right. You're full of sayings tonight. I know. I'm uh, saying, man. Goodness. I'm full of proverbs and stuff. Yeah, and all I got, I'm over here like, yeah. Ancient wisdom. <laughs> man who stands on the toilet is high on pot. Stuff yeah. like that. Man with hand in pocket, not always jingling change. Right. That's man how that goes. goes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a, you're over here like Amp Guard Yoda for us, and I'm over here like crossing the green, not in between. You know? <laughs> <laughs> nice. did, you, nice. did you say the trampoline thing on the podcast? What's that? Life is like a trampoline. Wasn't that you? Life is like a trampoline, like you're, you're laying down, and the kids are always jumping around you. That's what adult life is like. I didn't say that. Oh, shit. Okay. So, yep, when you're a kid, you would be on a trampoline. You'd be laying down trying to get up and kids are jumping, right? Mm. That's what adult life is. All the other adults are jumping up on the trampoline while you're trying to get oh, up. Oh, you can't get on your feet? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, that's like, about right. Like, everybody's having that's a good time, right. but I'm stuck yeah. down here. Oh, man. That's, that's about right. They said there's that one asshole telling you, don't give up. You can still get up. Yeah. yeah. you are never going to get up. And they're not even on the trampoline. Right. They're on a different <laughs> trampoline with no other randomly. people on it. They just bought their own trampoline. full of teddy bears exactly. or something. So they thoughts of a prayers. better trampoline. <laughs> yeah. So the thoughts of prayers. <laughs> <laughs> the thoughts of prayers. <laughs> oh, man. Like for 100 prayers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, and all <laughs> <laughs> this gets liked a million times, and all the homeless people in the world will have homes. <laughs> man, I tell you what, that trampoline analogy, that shit is <laughs> too, <laughs> too real, man. That's like, ooh. Yes. I thought he was going to say the life is like a box of chocolates. Man. Oh, <laughs> yeah. The fat it doesn't last as long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was the <laughs> one. Oh, fuck. No, I, uh, I like that. I like that. Oh, man. Man. <laughs> Sorry, man. We got dark. Oh, that's again. incredible. Oh, Keep it going. Keep it going. Yeah. Well, I can man, say that because I'm 300 plus pounds. <laughs> it, I can qualify. I don't know, man. Dark comedy. Not everybody gets it. It's like no. in Ethiopia. Please. Uh, <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. It's all right. It's that wall, is it? I've been there. What the fuck I'm doing there? I'm oh, fucking drunk. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> it's that whole terrible joke like, man, dark comedy. It's like food in Ethiopia. Not everybody gets it. Yeah, it's just, yeah. We were in Orlando and there were an Ethiopian restaurant. Where? What are they? What are they? Oh, wait, wait. Hang on. That was just a question. That's Did you please a... go in and then look at the menu? <laughs> oh, we got <laughs> sand. They had, they, had, they had Zimbabwe You world. have to at least look at the menu and it was, see how diverse <laughs> it could possibly be. I'm it was sure. legitimately empty. <laughs> it was closed. <laughs> Wonder why. Well, yeah, because you're not serving the food. <laughs> because they don't serve food. Oh, man. Like, damn, you come in hungry. Well, right right right. Hungry. Either that or they're scamming people. Do you, I mean, is that the new That's strategy? Nigerian. What's the difference? Um, they're princes. All right, then. See, All right. Hey, so you got yeah. me on that one. <laughs> <laughs> you beat me there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you go to the restaurant and there's a bunch of princes there. You give them money and they'll right. take it. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I like you go money, ahead and pay the money up front and I'll bring guy. you the food later. And they'll <laughs> just run out the back with I it. I want to tell your parents you got naked. Give me the money now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> Man, I tell you, it's, that might be the new way that they're trying to get you to donate money to feed your children. Is, you know, they, Nigerian princes? No, open up an Ethiopian restaurant <laughs> that has no food mm-hmm. and it closes. And it's like, man, this is so sad. We should send something to these people. <laughs> <laughs> and it was right by a Buffalo Wild Wings. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. It was hysterical. Yeah. It was like, be dubs You're like just over there like chewing there. on like some fried cheese garden, man. That's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> that's just awful. Exactly. Well, isn't that, that's, that's pretty much the American way, isn't it? And like, you see that commercial, go, oh, man. But now we get, instead of like watching that commercial and changing the channel, we just get to hit like on Facebook and send thoughts, thoughts and prayers. And prayers. Thoughts, thoughts and prayers. prayers. Hey, yeah, I, I, I sent thoughts and prayers and I feel, I helped. I, oh, oh, wait, hold it. on. Let me change my profile to a temporary yeah. picture. <laughs> I'm going to set this for a week though, so, because, you know, I'm not that upset about it. And uh, <laughs> I'm going to eat this Hot Pocket. I don't even <laughs> know where Mesopotamia <laughs> is. Yeah, really. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Canada? Yeah. <laughs> so I heard a new phrase the other day, Canadian standoff. I've never heard of that before. A Canadian really? standoff? A Canadian standoff. It's got to be wait, the wait, wildest wait, thing yeah, ever. Yeah, I was going to say. Oh, it's waiting to see it's who's going to hold the door for yes, who. Yes, that's what I was going to no, say. The, the, what I had heard was like the context of like, uh, so you're trying to decide what to eat, right? Oh, man. And it's like, well, I don't care. What do you want to eat? Oh, I mean, we can eat anything. What do you want to eat? Okay. Yeah. And it's just giving giving leeway to everybody. Yeah. I've never heard of that Canadian standoff here every day. I... I was going to say, what? There's me, a term for that. Me and so, my girl. Every day. Me, me and Brenda did that so much that I thought about opening up a restaurant called I Don't Care. And <laughs> it serves shit like I don't know whatever you want. and uh, Just pick. And and shit and die, <laughs> because that's where I'll that conver- because that's where that conversation leads to an argument where you get told to just go eat shit and die. <laughs> yeah, actually, pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> And then I thought, no, it'd be better to name a restaurant Hell, and all they serve is shit and die. So yeah. you literally go, go to Hell and eat shit, shit and die. die. Yeah. That bitch be full, too. Yeah. Yeah. It would. It'd be full. It would be me and all my friends. Because um, <laughs> we've heard that a bit. <laughs> right. I would drive way up there just to go eat. <laughs> Man, you guys can go to Hell and eat shit and die. We Thank can. you. <laughs> we can, for real. We have our own table. So, it's yeah. reserved. <laughs> <laughs> We're just near the restaurant. VIP. Uh, yeah, Gaius, party of six. <laughs> Teen. Yes. Yes. Sixteen. We have your regular table. <laughs> All right. What do you want? The usual. No. What else? 
Yeah, he's he's there you go. Yeah, a little bit of motherfucker. Medium. Too. <laughs> yeah, medium order, please. Yeah. Medium order, motherfucker, please. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I had to pull the fuck off before I left the house. I'm not that hungry. Oh, God. I love y'all. So, yeah, LARP, LARP. LARP, yeah. right. LARP um, is cool. Live action yeah. role play. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you know what? Now, that was the thing that whenever y'all talked about doing a podcast, I was like, you know what? That is something I do want to talk about. Which part? LARP. LARP the the RP part? There you go. The RP part. The role play. So, a lot of your LARPs end up being nothing but just... Combat games. Keys. Hey, jackass. Keys. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to be more discreet about it. Could well, you, if he's making you? noise. Yeah, if I just yeah, shit. Man. You got oh, potato chips? What are you doing? So, Jacob looks less stressed out. Let, let me get what my... What are you even doing trying to amplify the noise? Yep. <laughs> no, he's figuring we're bitching at somebody about keys. Let's see the Dorito. So anyway, <laughs> yeah, like I say, LARP, people... Some of some of the other arts are, are still doing just fine with their role play, but in in Amp Guard and all, role play is starting to take a lot of a backseat, and like a lot, a lot. Starting. Starting. This is why we got into it. Yeah. Starting. Yeah, I get that. It's been starting. I've only been doing this a year, so to me, it's just you know. Oh yeah, starting. That's, that's I've been doing it for three too. years, and it's yeah. it's pretty dry in the RP so, department. You're right. So I mean, it's but it's like a sport, uh, and that's kind of it. It's a sport where you dress funny. But people don't really get in their roles. But what we do? I mean, it, it's we, yeah. We we try to get into our stuff. I've um, I'm, Brian's talked about something uh, that I've uh, that I've t- you know showed him and told him about the map the system that I'm working that I'm working with. Oh, you Work, did that right. That's so, cool. So though. you got that map, and as it, you start out at your home park in the middle, and you base it, you got different little areas around the map. And what I try to do each week. Um, and I've been traveling a lot and haven't been able to do a lot at the park. And that's my fault because I ain't been there. But I try to, we pick two captains and we offer them a choice of two different quest lines. And they pick the quest line. The quest line corresponds with one of the outer edges of the map. And there's different areas you go through on the way to get there. You cross a bridge, that coincides with like a bridge battle. But if you cross two bridges, I ain't going to make you do that twice because <laughs> one bridge battle is enough for the day. <laughs> but uh, I mean, it, and it just it coincides and it builds that story. It's a lot like D and D in real life. So I kind of you know, I go over these quest lines and then think of how they're going to play out and figure out how to fill them in with some of our normal battle games. So you'll have things like VIP, you know, gaming, you know, the and uh, stuff that you could be capture the flag, you know, ring the bell, bridge battle, stuff like that. And it'll get them through a story each week instead of just going out there and looking at each other and going, um, what do you want to play? And then it just, well, well let's ditch. And, For four and hours. The, and then we'll ditch and we'll <laughs> ditch until we dig a ditch. And then we'll ditch in that ditch. <laughs> and ditch. What do you guys want to do now? Son uh, of a kill ditch. the killer? Yeah. yeah. And, <clears throat> and that ends up being the funnest game of the whole day. Kill the killer. Yeah. Um, so, but I mean, what it does, it fills it in. One, you got games that vary from week to week, and you're not playing the same stuff all over, all, all, all the time. But you've got that story, and that story builds, and it kind of gets people. It pushes them into making their character. Why are you fighting? Because I got nothing else to do on Sunday. No, damn it, no, no, you no. Know, I want to whip you with the newspaper and rub your nose in that shit. Don't do that again. No. You're fighting because of who your persona is and why your persona's here. I'm Gaius Agatera. I'm a pirate. Why do I fight? Well, because I'm a pirate. And <laughs> pirate. we tend to piss people off and you know, we <laughs> fight to enrich ourselves and we just like fighting because it's fun and we're pirates and that's what we do. So ladies and gentlemen, we have the best pirate in the whole world right here. And I'm sitting next to him. Thank you. I just want to say that. That's Quit sucking up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. So, anyway. <laughs> you know, I too am incredibly humble. Now, yeah. now yeah. I, 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 since I'm the newest, you know, newest to the LARPing game, like, so are you talking about, like, park days or are you talking about actual events? Oh, there? no, no, no. This is park days. This is your every week thing. You don't have to wait for a kingdom event. You don't have to wait for a part like we threw an event here a little while back. You know, the guys went to, and y'all can find that video somewhere where they talk about it. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, yeah, on this, yeah, y'all's thing. <laughs> on this thing that y'all do. <laughs> Few true villains if y'all miss that. Yeah, there you go. Um, Anyway, so, all right, so, I mean, you don't have to wait for events like that. This is every, (laughs) this is every week, you know. Um, Every week you can do role play in your park stuff. And and it doesn't have to get boring. Now, it gets a little taxing trying to think of these quests to go at the end, but you tap your populace. You're like, hey, you know, why don't y'all pitch me some ideas and I'll figure out how to work them into a quest and we'll throw that out there and we can do storylines that way, you know? Great tip. They love that shit. <clears throat> yeah, so, I mean, and it gets it gets them involved. It gets them involved in their world and it's their part. I mean, I'm the monarch at Shattercrest, but it's their part. I work for them. I got to do a good job because it's what they need. That is definitely the next step we have to take because we need to start doing yeah. something. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> For sure. We need people to show up on time so we have the time to We need people to show up to bring some goddamn beer. Because <laughs> I will oh, say... Both of those things help. Think. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, well, I, I've mostly encountered that type of stuff in the... It's a different game in Ocala for Lion Door. Right. Where they have done the <clears throat> and stuff. And that... I don't really fight, but I followed them. And you can find those videos as well. I right. follow Blood Pack and all them on these quests. That is so cool. That is so much fun. You you can easily replicate that in Amp Guard. Yeah. Oh, I, no, and Hawaiian Door is basically Amp Guard. They just they do a different thing so they can alter some of the rules. So, yeah, absolutely. Right. In fact, in the, the rules of play, there's an entire section dedicated to quest games, quest oh, special shit. abilities. Yeah, right. Qu- uh, yeah, I mean, like you, tokens and stuff. Tokens, magical items, and rewards. And it barely gets used. It's true. Um. Oh. It barely gets used. That, wow. when I know when I saw that in the rule book, I was like, yes. I mean, that's a big reason yes. why we decided yes. to go with Amp Guard, because Dad right. does virtually no role playing. It could be Amp Guard felt like it was way more into the role play. I hate this and, a and lot. Also, and also because there's only two deck events, right? Like, there's only two events. Don't nobody go in that kitchen for at least five minutes or fart twice. The, the, well, let me, uh, oh, real quick, I, I hate to be the one to say it. Because I hate when people say this to me, but because we're doing a podcast, it's because we live in Florida, and there's not a lot of role play in Dagger here in Florida. Okay, right. Uh, yes, Florida really only has two events. They have day battles, but uh, we could drive to way up north, but. Yeah, we you know. just don't have the means. Well, and that, that's the thing with y'all spark. Y'all spark is young, so y'all can Very go. Young. Y'all can go ahead and set the tone mm-hmm. for what y'all spark is about, and really push your role play. And that's what we do at our park. Is I'm, I'm really trying to get that where that role play is not hard to do. It's like falling off a log. You just come in, you plug yourself into this world. We got a storyline going. You just have to figure out who you are, why you're there, and why you're doing what you do. And you do what you do, and you follow along with the story, you know? I mean, you just jump in and fall into it. And the map helps The map helps tremendously, because we come up with two quest lines mm-hmm. in one night, sitting there by looking at the map, and we're like, all right, we can end this thing here, we can end the thing here, and it, th- this will be what it is. And we're sitting there like, all right, well, how do you get there from the, sh- the park in the middle, or from, from Shattercrest in the middle of this map? we follow along with it and then we'd cross a thing and something would become up important. Like, all right, we'll have a battle there. And what makes sense? We come up with this type of battle in that, that spot. And we come up with, you know, two four game quest lines in like 10 minutes. Yeah, it's not that real And it long. didn't take very long at all. And, you know, then we pitched that to the park on Sunday and they got to pick which one they want wanted to go with and oddly enough they picked the one that we was not the one that we didn't think they would get yeah that's I it mean, was that's that's how players yeah are i mean weird. that's how it goes anybody that's like dm the dungeon and dragons game knows that the players <laughs> oh, are gonna pick i present one. you with options a through c well we want either chair or <laughs> you know yeah. cosine yeah you so. can take that to like just to <clears throat> remember that thing that idea you came up with for your character being a god like having access to portals. Yeah, the yeah, sort of. Yeah. Like we could even make portals out of those guys, and that can even have like made a little sign above it with each game. That'd be kind of neat. I mean, that could be do a lot of those. Unique. 
Yeah. And That's pretty cool. And uh, for like considering, I mean, again, me being the new guy, I guess I'm gonna do the questions so that way the newer sure. listeners, you know. Yeah. So, for instance, for your park, you said that a lot of it, you know, not all of it, but a lot of it has leaned toward the pirate, like, setting because of... Um, I wonder why that is. Well, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <clears throat> no, all right, so... <laughs> all right, so I'm the monarch, and I specifically made sure I didn't pick our theme to be pirates because, I mean, it's... We, we're getting kind of a natural flow, and we're getting a lot of people recognize that this is a pirate park. We're we're inland. We're landlocked, y'all. Yeah. We're in the middle of Georgia. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're the people at where y'all at. We're, we're like two hours from everything, and that's the truth. We're two hours from the coast. The ocean. Yeah, so <laughs> the, the ocean. ocean. We do got a river. Two hours of Brunswick, great. Uh, so, but but anyway, so I mean, that's almost like an inside joke that we're the pirate part. Yeah. Because all of the ones in Florida that are on the coast, and we kind of people say, oh yeah, that's where they got all the pirates, but. Um, I'm trying I don't really want us to uh, be, all our stuff to be themed that way I know that event we just had was Pirates of the Dark Water but what we did there is we gave everybody in the, the park a choice um, vote made a poll like the, you know these are some options as you got add what you want to <laughs> and people there was uh, the Nautical Knights book I don't know if y'all have that hey, one uh, what was there's, that there's second the, option that there's, 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 about there's, that. there's a Dora Agathar monster book and there's the Nautical Knights and then you got a thousand and one Amp Guardian Knights and all that um, and we gave the people those choices and people could add what they want to and Bonnie <laughs> Python jumps in there and that's kind of cool and that one actually come in third the the second place one <clears throat> the second place one i swear y'all if it had won i would have sent the email out trying to pull this off but it was uh, and got him here even though nobody would have seen him i've heard it because it was i did too it was uh john cena's wrestling ring of doom <laughs> oh my god had that one i would have emailed, i think that would win i would have emailed john cena i would have had to explain what amp guard is <laughs> I would have told him we would have had a, had a thing. Uh, I would have told him that we had an event that was themed around John Cena, and I would have tried to get him there the best I could. And if I couldn't have, I would have just told everybody who was there they just couldn't see him. But <laughs> honestly, with that, I mean, but I mean, they they chose they chose the the nautical knights. But and the John Cena thing came in second. Yeah, it did. <laughs> Oddly enough, it came in second. I was rooting for it. I'm rooting for that one. <laughs> so. So anyway, that's how we ended up with the pirate thing for that event. I mean, the nautical knights, and if you look through that one, yeah, pirates. This that's kind of where that one goes. Right. So what and, would the? Go ahead. Oh no, it's okay. And I actually brought that question up because I actually heard something. Uh, me being part of Raven Terrace, the first time I heard anything that Brian, you as the head honcho of Raven Terrace, pretty much, you want to do like um, a like a Hawaiian warrior type. Like, oh, for my character? I, I thought for the park as a whole. Uh, no, but I, <clears throat> I've been thinking about doing a like they did the the pirate themed event. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Doing a uh, like a Pacific Islander, because yeah. uh, that's what my character is based off of. Like themed event with uh, it would be pretty similar. <laughs> I want to look through that uh, that book. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, sounds fun. like a good idea. We'll, we'll hook yeah. you up with the link to that. And that's the thing. You're you're the monarch, so you get to set what your reign is. Yeah, you I think that see. just kind of happens you can, the monarch. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, that's one of the things you get to choose. You get to choose, you can follow the kingdom's reign, or you can set your own. Yeah. I was going to ask, too, because I know <clears throat> the kingdom gets a reign. Does, do the parks get to... Yes. Yeah. You get to set your own. Cause, uh, um, and especially, like I say, because you are actually a freehold right now. Yeah, so, that's true. I mean, so, okay, I you our don't our actually answer, answer to anyone. Our reign is the yeah. reign of figuring stuff out. Yeah, yeah. that's the first reign. <laughs> reign I've of... been through that one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's because I know that how one's pretty being... fun in a really terrifying kind of way. Oddly enough, that reign kind of goes all terrifying. the way through the whole thing. This never <laughs> stops. There's always something new to figure out. Wait, all right. So somebody yeah, he's like me too. Two years in. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> yeah, so right. somebody did what to who and what. And we got to figure out how to deal with that shit. Okay. Oh man, that's a new thing to figure out. Cool. Oh, um, oh Lord. Oh, I <laughs> right when we decided to submit our contract and stuff to Found Shadow Crest. Oh, real, real quick. This is one of the founders of our. Party. Oh yeah. 
Hi. This is one of our founders. We got four founders, and that's one of them. Yep. Corrigan Du Chevalier, one of the four founders of Shadowgrass. When we started to found the park, was right when Ampgar decided it was a great idea to uh, move the leadership or ownership aspect from burning lands to their own thing. So it took them months to get all their paperwork and stuff in order, and we had no idea who to contact. <laughs> it was a really hilarious time to try and get anything done with a ton of people telling us, well, just be patient. It's going to be okay. And then a ton of other people going, oh, it's terrible, man. We don't even know what this is going to be. We might not even have an amp guard. <laughs> uh, so that was wonderful. Well, hey, that but dude, we made it through. That thing you found you just like may be gone. Oh, great. Yeah. Glad we put uh, in we all haven't this put effort. any money in this thing yet. Yeah, good thing we put in all this effort. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I, you know, I get that you know you are going through you know growing pains of starting and figuring it out and learning, and that's why we try to, I try to reach out and help as much as we can. Uh, I, I've took a lot of interest in y'all's park because I mean it's exciting to see another park spring up, uh, yeah, and get going because I know what I know what I know what it means to me. I know what amp card means to me. It means a lot. I mean, it's it's my weekly therapy. Um, it's, it's friends it's friends that I didn't have before I like mm-hmm. a lot and when I say hey, I don't have like but or I didn't have a bunch of friends as far as like close personal friends I talk to on the regular uh, I didn't and now I do I've got people I see weekly mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> bi-weekly and, and you it's know about multiple times right maybe. yeah I mean multiple yeah so and that's I mean, why like I got buddies <laughs> I, I game with and like they don't get it at all. Yeah. Oh, They're man. like, why? It sounds stupid. I'm like, no, it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it is. It's fun. And it's the best com- way, right? Yeah. It's stupid the best, best way. And they're like, it just, it sounds so lame. It sounds so stupid. I'm like, listen, we're playing Warhammer Vermintide right now. <laughs> There's no difference. No, the lame thing is sitting there judging something that you just only heard about and you ain't exactly. even seen it. And then, I, then it's, it's like, because they're like, oh, it's neck beards. I'm like, I know for a fact you have a beard. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Well, um, so, all right, so <laughs> I'm, I, I, was, I was a high school athlete. I was a football player, you know, track, field. You know, I did all that. I, I was that guy. Um, I, I am, I'm, I'm a mechanic now, so I'm that manly man. Right. So a year we ago. all types. Yeah, crazy. right. That, uh, people of all types would go out there and do it. But a year ago, uh, a little over a year ago, um, I go out to an event that y'all had out there at Shattercrest. Northern the, Reach War. Right. So the first thing I go to is this. And I go out there and I'm looking and there's a bunch of people running around just yelling shit at each other. Swinging pool noodle sticks at each other. <laughs> and I'm like, this shit is weird. <laughs> and I'm, I'm hanging, yeah, I was hanging out because they were cooking food. So I'm just like, all right, yeah. See? Right. That's why I'm trying to find all this reason. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna grab me a burger. I done signed that piece of paper that my wife brought to me. I don't know what it is. You know, I may owe them money, whatever. So I'm hanging out and everything, and one of the guys comes up to me. He's like, "Hey man, you gonna get out here and fight with us today?" No, like, no, nah, I am not that big of a nerd, y'all. I watch Star Trek, but uh, damn, no. Nah. Thirty minutes later, I'm out there in the middle of a battle game. I got me a sword, and I'm done. You know, charging down the field like really Roy Jiggins and getting killed like crazy. But and I haven't turned back since. It was great, you know. And but it's just like it's what you said. It's, it's the social thing. It's you know. Right. Me and Brian have been hanging out for a long time before it was like D and D and board games. And yeah. then you know we were doing the PC gaming thing for a second in Nerd Night, or most of us were. Yeah. Not and me. then it became LARP, and it's just it's been LARP since yeah. then. Because it's just a social thing. It's just the reason to all get together. Well, and that's the great thing about, that, that I feel, the great thing about AmpGuard is the community, the camaraderie, and everything that goes with it. Um, like, you know, I mean, watching y'all's first video, y'all talking about it, it was really for refreshing of that outside perspective of something that, you know, might take for granted of our feast and how we get together and, and we, we just do things as one big group and we may not always get along we may not all agree but we do pull together and can throw off a hell of a damn event Amen. you know as a big group and we do events like that as far as kingdom level four times a year so I mean we're you know every three months we're all hanging out again and 
we try to, like I say, at Shattercrest, we try to do, uh, we want to do two events a year, about every six months. Like, limited at what, one per rain for Monarch, so that an extra event that's not our coronation or our mid rain. This is an extra thing that kind of is, it basically is kind of just more fun for our part to do. And we invite everybody to it. And those events, I mean, you're just pulling your friends together and y'all are getting together and you're having a good time and you eat good food, you play a lot of good games all day long until everybody's really tired like, crap, now I got to drive home. But, I mean, Poor that's Charlie. what it's all about. It's it's worth the drive. I drove, We drove four hours down here today just to come hang out with you guys and it's worth the freaking drive, yeah. man. Yeah, every single time. Uh, two hours. We drove two hours to North River. Uh after our pirate event to go down there for their coronation and it was absolutely worth the drive every, that was that was a great day of... so I mean <sighs> told you that's the thing and it's because it's we're oh, going yeah. Yeah. it's because it's we're going to go hang out with our friends and we know we're going to have a good time when we get there Yeah, there's no doubt if I go to a, a, a park in the kingdom of Neverwinter when I get there I'm not going to hang out with a friend of mine and have a good time so that's what's so great about Ant Guard, and that's one thing I really love about it that makes such a difference for me. And that's why I've taken a lot of interest in y'all's park because it's new, and I want to help y'all grow and flourish and get bigger and have more people and more friends because I like more people to fight and kill. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, new blood is always great. Yeah, yeah. yeah new targets. Yeah, it's funny, new friends are great. A lot of the guys that are showing up at our parts are old friends of mine that I haven't seen in years. Well, yeah. <laughs> and Which is awesome. It'll really reinforce your friendships too. Right. And there's a lot of people out there that don't know they need this. Oh, yeah. I there, agree. Yeah. There's people that are suffering from depression and you know, uh, introverted. They're, they've got, there's people I with PTSD. I work PTS. from home. I sit at my desk. I yeah. sit all day freaking long. It's so nice on Wednesday to go out. Yeah. There's people with PTSD that can't be around a lot of people, but they can go out to Amp Guard because these are all their friends, and they can hang out with 30 people when they can't usually hang around more than five. You know, I mean, so there's people yeah. that this is not only, I mean, not only is this just a fun thing to do, it's their therapy, man. See, that's, that's a huge thing. I'm glad you said that because me, for instance, I just started, pick, I, I just picked up LARPing mainly because Brian, who I've known for a long time now, uh, he was into it. And me, I've always taken, you know, I've always friggin' pretty much role played when mine went to Renaissance fairs and I love going to meetable times. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to give this a shot. It's a new thing for me. I was going, I'm going through a rough time. Oh, you know, and I'm, go, I'm going through a rough time. I'm actually like going through a divorce. And everything and I was actually kind of like down and whatever and ever since I've been coming to park days and getting like and getting active on the Kingdom of Neverwinter page and also the Ravenshurst page just like meeting everybody it's been like almost a lifesaver at this point so yeah, I'm actually really glad you reiterated on that especially for any new listeners that understand that this nerdy thing that they uh, you know that they kind of shit on from the outside yeah. it's actually something that's like almost therapeutic for anybody. It really, and my point was, like, I don't even think it's, it's any nerdier than video games. It's and not. I 100% it's agree. not. 100% it's, agree. it's video games in real life. You know? And, and like, you have people it's D&D play... in real life. Yeah. And plenty of people play D&D. But the like, cool part... Why don't you just play I don't play D&D. Why don't you just LARP? It's fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, the cool no. part about it, you know, after you've been whooping each other's ass all day, you can get together and go have something to eat afterwards, right? Yeah. yeah. You, you'll end up eating... Uh, I don't know how many times we've ended up eating at like Dick's Wings with people I don't know, I but I do now. I never get to go to Dick's Wings. With well, them. I mean, you gotta have money. When the fuck did y'all do that? <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> oh, you just oh threw boy. yourself in a hole and you can't get out. <laughs> oh. okay. I'm not gonna take you to Dick's Wings after. Oh no, that shit's just for friends, apparently. Oh, <laughs> oh. I don't consider you a friend. I consider you family. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, that's why you go to all I've seen party. how you talk about your family. Well, Fuck yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't don't put that on the internet yeah. for him. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I love you, mom. <laughs> 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 but like you know, to go back to what y'all saying, I'm probably the only one in this room besides guys. That's not a, well. What's well, an athlete? Yeah, you know, I say everybody is an athlete. He's a wrestler. <laughs> an athlete. And that's baseball. Not, that's yeah, not my whole entire that's life. That's not real. That's not a fucking sport. There's football. Well, wrestling's more of that. But, but, but this is what I'm going with this though. 
Wait, shit, y'all do a lot of wrestling. I can't say wrestling's mostly but like, acting, right? Chris, you grew up gaming and stuff, too, so. <laughs> yes. I, I'm, I'm talking about, like, I, I, I never gamed too. before, you know. I Only video games I play is, like, football, hockey, and baseball and NASCAR. So that's not considered, like, real gaming. That's like, fuck you, I'm by myself, leave me alone. <laughs> yeah. I know that. So, like, Brian, we've been doing this shit for a while. Like, one day we decided to put a wrestler in the game. Next day we LARPing. One day we fucking... Going out there flying kites and shit. You know, whatever we do, we're going to do it. Have we flown kites yet, bro? Not yet, but we got to. <laughs> Have you, I haven't taken you kite fighting? No. Oh, we're going to go kite fighting? Oh, God, Brian used to be into kite fighting. <laughs> anyway. I've been at, name a hobby I've been in it. I don't know if you guys know this yet, Brian. Kite fighting Way sounds. too many hobbies. They haven't been mm. in the garage yet. Kite Kite fighting, that's where you that got like the fun. two strings and you can fly that bastard and all that. Uh, you can, it. but kite fighting, you, you just take like, I usually use dollar kites because you destroy them. Uh-huh. Like a little, just little like dollar kites, you go out to the beach and you just, you fly them and you try to take out the other guy's kite. That's the thing. That's we did that shit when I was a kid, that, but I called it my brother's being a dickhead. <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, but like in that India, you can get, it's, I think it's like a big deal over in like India or something. No, that and shit was get, a big deal at my house when I was a kid because my brother was an asshole. They take uh, the first like 10 feet of your line, they coat with glue, and then they run it through uh, powdered glass. So you cut the other strip. What? Wasn't yeah. that the beginning of Rocky 3? What the hell? Yeah, but with kites. Oh, oh, oh that was was Rocky was like five-year-old girls. You're doing it with kites. Okay, shit. Okay. Good. Yeah, Brian, what's your hobbies? With RC cars? Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, well, let me RC. finish my story first, because this, oh, this shit take like three hours. But, oh, God. Uh, shit, the fuck off the... Oh. You know, Athletes. it's like... I don't say like... Athletes. I got brought into this, and you know, it's like, I love it. And it's, it's not, you know, I always talk about what the fuck you doing, son. Fish, I reeled, I reeled you in. I threw the line out. No, shut the hell up. You, you Stop. Took it. Stop. I reeled you in. It's not your birthday anymore. Fuck off. I know. I've already heard it. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's like, I say in our videos, like, I like going for the food. So I really don't. I like meeting people. Yeah, it's a people. You know, like, we got great friends in Georgia now. You know that we got friends all over the place. Everywhere we go, people know us, and that, that makes me feel amazing. Yeah, because I love Pretty meeting cool. new people. I like fellowship with everybody and stuff like that. That's one thing I love about the sport. You know, that. the fighting part, I'm getting used to it. But one thing, you now I got some coaches I coach with. That's like a fan of mine too. You know, they they saw the videos, and they, you know they poke fun at me a little bit. That's what you do in the locker room. But one of my coaches said, "I'll try it. It looks fun." And I told him, like, out. it's stressful leaving. Like, you go out there and just hit somebody, like, damn, that felt good. Yeah. Then you can go home. You're like, yeah. I'll try it. Yeah, it's over all. It's where right? good yeah. friends can get together and hit each other. Yeah. Everybody yeah. goes to jail. So. Yeah, that's, what, that's, you know, and that's why I love it. You know, I, I when, when Brian's like, hey, we got to go to this park, I get so damn excited. Yeah. You Maybe, know, it's hey, just, we should go to Nod Rama and have your coach friend uh, meet us out there. I'll see what we can do about that. Like, I put that, like, on our list. I'll see about that. Well, it's like that's the reason why I like it and stuff, you know. It just it's like another world you step into. Like everything you're going through, you can just open that door and step into this world. It's like, oh shit, I want to leave. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's that, that's exactly the thing that. All right, so not only do I go to park <laughs> in my garb, but I also like to run errands and shit in my garb. And I enjoy going to the grocery store after park to pick up some stuff to go home. And my local grocery store has done got used to seeing a pirate every Sunday. <laughs> Walmart is still having a problem with this. <laughs> it's still getting like people looking at me like, what in the shit? Yeah. And I'm waiting for them going, I didn't expect to see a pirate here today. I'm like, listen, if I'd have seen a pirate here today, I'd have been surprised too. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, but the, you have to just go R and just yeah. play along, right? Like, no, just, just honestly. Like, all right, so I've had some golden opportunities over the years before just I started dressing day. up as uh, a pirate for part because I, I've got I've got this beard all the time. I've always got this hair, and I wear a bandana at work to keep all the grease out of my hair. So I've got that tied around my head, and I'm working. And this guy had pulled up back behind our shop where I work at, and his kid's in this crook with him. And I'm like, I walk across the yard, and I'm coming back, and his kid leans out this window, and he's probably like six. He leans out the window and goes, Hey, pirate! And scared the shit out of me. 
<laughs> stunned me so much that I was just out of the moment. And I just look at the kid and just like wave and miss the opportunity to go, Arr, matey! You know, and like made his day. And then he would go home and like tell his mom, like, Mom, I went with Dad and I seen a pirate. And she would look at her husband and be like, what in the hell did you do today? <laughs> <laughs> you said you went Perfect. to the store. <laughs> so, but, but that whole escapism of it, you know, I've said, I tell them at, at my local grocery store that she's used to seeing me, um, they're like, you know, so it's cool you go out there and you do this on Sundays. And I'm like, yeah, it's great because I go out there and for four hours on a Sunday, I don't have real world problems that I deal with. Yeah. I've got pirate problems. Don't <laughs> die. Kill that guy. Steal that thing. You know, it's and it's it. not. Pirate problems are much more fun. Than they pirates. are. Pirate problems are better than real world problems. Pirates <laughs> right. don't have bills. Yeah, until all the rum is gone, then the problems get really depressing. You, know, <laughs> you end up in Davy Jones' locker. You know, so there you go. It's the gym socks that's the problem in the locker, so don't go. <laughs> but I mean, I mean, that's what it is. You get to escape to a different world, and that's like I say, that's what the role play is supposed to be about. Is you, you're not you, you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not Brian. You're Bamusa when you go out there, and that's who you are. And you're worried about his problems. And you're a tripod. Right, you're a tripod. <laughs> And I tell you what, when you, you first, problem. yeah, yeah. <laughs> wait, I remember when I first asked you, I, 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 I'm talking, I was talking about Musa, and I, I turned and looked at you, I was like, okay, and I shake your hand, I was like, so you, you, you told me your name, I was like, no, what's your aunt guard name? Oh, it's Tripod. Um, I'm not even going to ask how you got that name. So, and you're like, no, it's because I hold the camera. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. Yeah. I should go with the flow. Well, oh, I'm sitting here thinking, well, you're awfully brave wearing shorts today, sir. <laughs> <laughs> <That's really dumb>. <laughs> <laughs> it's napping. Yeah. <laughs> so good. Right around my waist. Three times. <laughs> there you go. So... But, but like I say, that's... What is this a podcast right now? What, yeah? <laughs> Who gives a shit? I don't know. <laughs> well, yeah. This is pretty much just the anything podcast. I'm not right sure what, you, what rating you get for uh, coat hanger abortions, but... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's out there, so... Who said that? Know. Did I say that? Yeah, you yeah. said that. Yeah, that was you. Boy, we're going to have Peter you go, from, right you, you go from in, inspirational sayings to that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn! <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> 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 yeah, we're sure shit any ad on YouTube after the coat hanger thing. Are you ki- Well, yeah. You're just gonna have to put the beep. You're gonna have to beep it out. Yeah, how many times you beat no, me out? No, I wasn't listening to that. <laughs> Only on YouTube. Also, how many times? How many, wait, ta- wait, how many times you beat me out? We don't beat uh, Bill beat Brooks out. Brooks has been twice now, three times. I think it's twice. Oh, shit. Maybe that's twice. Because Brian be pissed miss. me off. I just, uh, the, well, we you guys might know this Ron Simmons, Farouk, the wrestler. My, uh, my, he's my idol. He's no, from Warner Robins, Georgia. He played at Florida State. He's a Hall of Famer. First, I'm going to stop. What, I'm start what, what's his, his slogan? <clears throat> what's Farouk's slogan? Damn! Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> so anytime Brooks so far does something and I have to bleep it out, it's damn! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or if I say something like really vulgar and nasty. And yep. I, I'm surprised I, we didn't what? get we beefed up one podcast we did. About well, that was not, Or the big show. Oh, God, that was that. But that's Jacob fault, because he started recording. We didn't know. talking about wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, that was a, the whole comedian. No, right? we, yeah. no <laughs> we, were, we were talking about this guy who's like a seven footer, and he's dating another female who is actually a champion now, and she's like 5'2, and we were talking about how that works in <laughs> intimate times. So, <laughs> those are the same species. I'm not going to get into it, but I'm six foot five, and my wife's five foot tall, so. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Well then, let's uh. Oh God, no! <laughs> let's Too go hard. back to that let's podcast. Let's walk down that road. Then you go, Chris. If you have questions, hey, no. Nope. Two words. Uh, uh, we're not going to talk start. about it. But, uh, <laughs> 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 running <and> start. Run, run, run. Yeah. <laughs> so which one of y'all is driving that bus that I'm getting run over with right now? <laughs> 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 Great. 
My point was that's not an unusual thing. <laughs> <laughs> Tall people date short people, you heightest bastard. <laughs> I'm a short guy. All you tall fuckers can go away, okay? Oh, Every time I'm around you, I feel like you're going to pee five full bum and end my fucking life. So. Mm. How many lives you got? Nah. Yeah. <laughs> now, you, saw, you saw me fighting out there. None. Yeah. You'd be all right. back, though. Eh, you know. No, come on, man. I'll let you kill me a couple times a day. Exactly. Let is the key. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. That. You killed me a couple times a day. You yeah, got me. You're not supposed to say you that. You got me. Most. You were doing good. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know. Oh, <laughs> oh no. According, according to you guys, the, the mood is more like, oh, uh, you know, delete the game. Don't play no more. No. No, no. 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 That's not true. No, I mean, that's the thing. When you start out, you're not bad. You're just new. Oh, man, I was garbage when I first started this game. I was absolute human trash. Oh. You mm. could have strapped a boffer to a Roomba and gotten more. (laughs) (laughs) Is that a new Lion King movie coming out? Yes. (laughs) Oh, my God. All right, so whenever I first started, man, you should have seen my stance. It was great. I had a nice foot base on me, but what I had terrible was I had a two-handed grip on on my sword, and no, 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 I held it low like I was a Jedi. <laughs> I was Obi Wan could fucking foam Nobi. It was something. Like, <laughs> no yeah, I was just I was like, yeah, come at me, bro, and a couple people couldn't fight that because it was so stupid. <laughs> Yeah, you're yeah, like, what do I do with this dumb shit? And, you know, <laughs> so that they and it kind of worked. I'm like, I know shit. And, uh, <laughs> right. I've really- seen all the Star Wars movies, <laughs> so this I need a double ended one of these things, and I got to be careful not to get cut in half. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Gonna, uh, right. There'll be so, robot legs. Yeah, <laughs> robot legs. Yeah, but but anyway, that's that's what I was like to start with, and I learned that that's not a good idea uh, if you want to not get hit a bunch. So, you know, I've changed up. I learned some of those things that we've talked to you about today. You know, like, tuck in them chicken wings. Don't get those things smacked because that's just an embarrassing crap. You know, I got my arms smacked for something stupid. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, you're, you're, it's, not, it's not a matter of being bad. It's just a matter of being new. And if, you're, if, you're, if you're making those same mistakes five years from now, then you're right. Yeah, you know, you, good this from. might. No, yeah, today was. A, I learned a lot, today. And, and obviously <laughs> toward the end there, I started to improve. It. Yeah, yeah, it it, way, yeah. So. yeah. I spent a so. lot of time fighting Calvo. Calvo was fucking good. Yeah, I, I didn't get to I, fight I the king. Like, I felt like he was. Well, lightning someone was quick. late. I felt like there was yeah. no oh, such thing. You can't. We started. Like I felt like you couldn't even blink. <laughs> like his strikes are so quick, I felt like I couldn't even blink. Right. Yeah. But you'll get to that point where they're not. Yeah. 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 I'll you tell you one thing. Where you're, you know, you're, you're defending yourself without having to think about it. I've been fighting right. for a while. You know, I, well, how many times I fought? Probably like three or four times. Yeah. Give or take. You know, then we went to their park. You know, who was that for? Who was Paul? in that bottle? That was battle. It Paul? The one that like I shook him up. He said. That was Paul. Yeah. Yeah, it's Paul. like, I didn't know what the fuck he was talking about for. I thought he was going to come beat my ass or something, right? <laughs> <laughs> but he killed him like, dude, like, you're straight, you know. He's, he, he, I didn't know. Oh, shit. All right, mm. cool. That's my hit like that every time. Yeah. You know, so you never know. Like, you get two more practices in, then you get used to your motion and stuff. Then all of a sudden, you go out there in, in, in the heat of the moment and go, wow. It's like I said, I think you'll be good at this because, you know, pro wrestling, there's a lot of technique that you have to be good at. It's the same way with this. Well, yeah. if and you can understand and utilize body mechanics, you'll do well. Well, and also, like Josh is saying, you know, those strikes that are so fast that you can't even see them coming, <coughs> you'll get where you can block those without thinking yeah, he about got it. A couple, uh, you, times a day. you react to it without even thinking, and that's what, there's some shit that Josh will throw at me, and I'll block it, and I'll block it out. Now, <laughs> I don't even but know that's how everybody, I, though. I don't even know how I did, or I'll throw a shot at him and land it, you know, like, I, I and... Mm-hmm. My role play is role playing like I'm not surprised I fucking got it. It's like, <laughs> right. yeah, I meant to do that's that. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Wow, <laughs> dude, I just threw a spin stab and it landed. Holy shit! You know, <laughs> it's like that was stupid and it worked. As Josh rolls his eyes. <laughs> yeah, no. So one thing I gotta find out 
What would the John Cena Ring of Doom thing do? Please. I have no idea. Oh, I'm just thinking the world's best Iron Man. I yeah, I mean I'm just sitting here thinking that if, if had it had it won one, I was gonna just try my best to get John Cena there. And if oh, I man. didn't, we at least try to get a look <laughs> like or shave somebody's head or something. Well we gotta do some but, we would have had to make some foam chairs. Yeah. Oh man. oh, man. It would have been like the tavern brawl. Yeah, but with a wrestling that ring. That would be Some foam tables. Dude, no. Old school battle royal. Yeah, that's what so I'm you, you start out with two people fighting in the ring. They're sitting there fighting, and you just start sending them in. Until you end up with this small little 10 by 10 <laughs> space. Oh, packed my with God. all 40 fighters you got, fighting with just like retarded weapons. You know, like foam chairs. Or they're loaded and we can throw them in that river right by your <laughs> Yeah, well, they kind of frown on actually physically throwing somebody in it. There's a lot of gators in that bitch. I will tell you this. Foam floats, they'll be all right. Yeah. <laughs> Just hold on to your foam sword, sir. Get on top of your shield. <laughs> yeah. and don't look back. No, no. Use your pole arm to poke yeah. that gator away from you. I used to own a wrestling ring. That would have made it interesting. Oh, yeah. That would have been. Uh, yeah, huh? yeah, we did that too. Oh yeah, so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm, I'm not the only too. person that's a trained wrestler here. Yeah, so I, yeah, I did, I lived at a literally lived at a, at a <laughs> professional wrestling, wrestling school. <laughs> so we we had a real wrestling ring in the building. Yeah, wow. and then I bought it yeah. once that's, the school shut down. Clearly, you don't listen to our wrestling podcast. What the hell? Well, I mean. <laughs> I don't blame you. I feel either. like we've had this discussion, I don't know, like a few minutes before we started doing this. Yeah, I mean, we're nerds, but wrestling. Come wrestling on. is a lot, isn't it? Yeah. Listen. Uh, those no. no, no, it's totally real. It's totally real. Well, yeah, yeah. listen, you don't have to say that. No, it's not. But shh, 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 shh. Don't, mm. you're ruining it for someone. <laughs> Please. A, children are the only people that believe that it's, it's real anymore. I got See, there's no children me, listening. I this, hope so there's I not kids okay. listening to this at this point. It's still real to me, damn it. It's still yeah. real to me, damn it. <laughs> well, I mean, if you look, if you I mean, if y'all do, you know, sort of kind of kick each other and throw each other around, <clears throat> I'm sure y'all might get carpet burns or something. Um, so, I mean, there's real pain. Y'all get tired. It takes physicality and all that's real. Yeah. So, it's as real as, like, say, you know, cartoons. No, wait, no, 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 no. That's no, no. wrong. Fake boobs. <laughs> no, seriously, all right. They're there. All right. You can touch them. I feel like we're so they're like, real. I feel like we're in a dangerous space. space. The, most incredible thing the ever word. That, that's quote, that quote's going on my next nice seven days. It's real. <laughs> Wrestling's like fake boobs. There's, there's the whole essence of real and authentic. <laughs> Y'all can't see that. I'm air quoting. Okay. <laughs> you know. Um, so, but anyway, I, yeah. I'm going to message my gear maker right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm going to message Brian so he can ask him the title of the podcast. <laughs> Wrestling is real as fake boobs. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. <gasps> oh, it's still oh. real to me, Dan. No, no, no. All right. So that's, a, that's an argument. Uh, 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 a nipple that, is still that, a nipple. That, that was an argument with me and my mom one time. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. Wait. We yeah. go from fake boobs to arguing with your mom. No, I no. Curious. This is where the argument come from. So so my mom sent an argument with me about somebody that I was dating. She didn't like. She's like, well, you know her boobs ain't real. I was like, if you can touch them, they're real. <laughs> the cartoon titties ain't real. Those are. <laughs> That's what I mean, hard point, logic to beat. Yeah, exactly. Hard logic to beat. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm on your side on that one. I'm not going into corporeal or nothing. I'm just, you know, it's where they're going to rub a nipple they're... on TV and it's a cartoon. You can't yeah, do about that. exactly. So, yeah. That's where that comes from. It's real as fake boobs. You know, that's... <laughs> they're there. <laughs> what? Sting Gear Maker now. <laughs> Well, is there anything else you guys want to talk about before we wrap this up? Oh, well, you know, Josh has been really good with the nuggets of philosophy, and I'm glad yeah. I squeezed Yeah, please, it. please. I'm glad, I squeezed, one. I'm glad yeah. I squeezed one in there at the end. I don't so. think. Give us one. You can't just think of one. Think of one. Think of one. Think of one. You've been doing it all night. No, it well, just comes to me like wisdom well, from Herb, the we We still. That's not how that works either. Son of a bitch. <laughs> well, we're still. It takes some effort. Well, listeners, you can find us on YouTube. <laughs> well, listen. Listen, we, 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 can, we can, you know, we can go I all the way. You guys outro. come up with a negative of wisdom. I'm giving you like four. Do what? Oh, man.
I gotta do the outro. Everyone come up with a nugget of wisdom. Yeah. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, I can try. That'll be fun. All right. Well, thank you for listening to the Future Villains podcast, guys. Uh, you can find me on. Wow. <laughs> I almost did the Future Villains. You can find me on Twitter at Best of the Realm, Facebook Best of the Realm Gaming, YouTube Best of the Realm, Twitch.tv slash Best of the Realm. Uh, Brian, where can they find you? Uh, I'm on Twitter, not really, at BrianMan25 and Instagram, BrianMan1138. You can find me either up your mother's ass or you can find me on Twitter oh. at JeremyBrooks42, Instagram, JBrooks42. And up her ass is where you'll find that nugget of <laughs> Yes! Wow! Yeah. There it is. You can find me on facebook.com slash Chris Braddock. You can find me on Instagram, the real Chris Braddock. You can find me at your local indie event if you decide to go. And hopefully, you buy one of my t shirts when you're there. Nice. You, you very well right may can find me in a shallow grave after my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, I didn't dig most of that myself. Let's <laughs> 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 just not tell the girls about this. Sleep yeah, yeah, don't, they don't, don't need to know. Yeah, don't tag us on you this. You got an Instagram? Uh, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. oddly enough, you can find me on my Instagram at uh, Bywater Blades. Uh, that's uh, I'm a knife maker also. Oh, that's right. Um, yeah. Okay, you can find oh, yeah, we have the same. We must have the same. Uh, the same nickname. I only do everything. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And if I don't, I will soon. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got any social media? I mean, you can find both of us on the Shadowcrest page. Yeah, I was gonna say the Shadowcrest Facebook page. You guys are in Hazelhurst, Georgia, right? Correct. Yeah. Yep. So that's if you're great. in that area, look them up. Beautiful, beautiful smile, country town. I love it. I love oh. it. I love it. You can also smile, find not uh, smile. me and Tripod on oh, yeah, Art Brothers you guys Facebook were to page. Talk about at the very beginning. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I got it. Oh shit. Yeah, we find me and Tripod on. Uh, yep. Lark Brothers! Facebook.com slash Lark Brothers. Lark Brothers, and we're going to make an Instagram too. The Lark Bros, or the Lark Brothers. The Lark Brothers. We're going to make an Instagram too, so stay tuned for that. I don't have none. (laughs) But of course, you can find the Lark Brothers, you can find Best of the Realm, you can find Blackbeard Bob, you can find all of this stuff on Future Villains. Uh, You can find it on our Instagram, Future Villains, Twitter at Future Villains, Facebook, Future Villains. And all of this, no, and YouTube Future Villains, and all of this stuff, uh, gallery from the guy from, good lord, from <laughs> from the Shadow Crest event, a video from the Shadow Crest event, all that good stuff is up on our website, and that website is futurevillains.com, f e w t r u e v i l l a i n s dot com. Oh, oh, oh. He's got some words of wisdom. Oh right, words, words of wisdom. Of um, this comes from the great Oscar Gamble. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. <laughs> we go! <laughs> Four hours of guys hitting the Oh, well, good. Oh, well, good. He's recording this. Brian doesn't know how to podcast after a year and so of recording podcasts. Because what don't chips, I know how to do? Which is a mortal chips. sin. Oh, no. I did that on purpose. <laughs> he at least took them out of the bag. What's up, tripod? Oh, oh, yeah. He at least took them out of the I'm bag. I'm not That's doing true. tripod's job. I'm here to deliver two tripod. Uh, is so, it all? Yeah, it's all. It's recording. Wow. So. Villains! How you doing here? <laughs> tripod here. Christ. Surrounded by a whole bunch of black people. Check that white people. <laughs> and Chris. <laughs> Damn, and Chris, Chris. You black as fuck. I can't. Anyway. Always. We're here at this guy's birthday party, a luau. How about the needy? How about the Wow. And uh, we're doing actually, we're doing a live podcast. Live? What? I did it again. He did it again. We, did it again. Well, right, we are live. alive. We're we live. We are alive. We're live as hell. We're live. You just have a really delayed reaction. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and announce it here, just to, to make you happy. I am figuring out a way to do it live. <laughs> Just for you. Just for you. Just so he has to stay live every time now. He'll, 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 he'll forget to say it. We're live! But he'll forget to say it. Y'all be doing live and he'll be like, are, are we recording now? We're recording. So I can say this and you can You're just gonna say it. You're going to edit this, right? Because right? I've got yeah. chips. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. So the chip. Like, like I thought about this a while ago when I was seeing them. Remember it came? No, well, you weren't in there. You were over in the uh, cafeteria or, or the, the tavern. 
someone um, get in trouble, I'm sure. So I hadn't like eaten all day. It was like the first night we were there. I hadn't eaten nothing, and, and I'm like starving. Right. And we got everything unpacked, and it was man, it was probably like 11:30, 12 o'clock. So I'm, I'm laying in there, and I, I asked Brenda, my wife, uh, do we do we have anything I can snack on? She's like, yeah, there's some snacks over there under one of the cots when the kid was in. So I get me a coke opening a coke and the while people are sleeping in this cabin is you know <laughs> 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 okay, I got it open one time thing done yeah sweet so I set my coke down <clears throat> what kind of snacks we got the most covert snack in the world Doritos I pick up the bag <laughs> <laughs> Not this shit. <laughs> Put that down and look around. Oatmeal cream pie. Yeah. Oh man. Oh, oh, man. man. That's, it. That's where it's at. I man, tell you, you oh. would. Yeah, you could like you could sit there and just pounce on oatmeal cream pie. That'd be, that's that's like a it's a snack silencer. Yeah. <laughs> until you hit that yeah. juice spot. Yeah. yeah. Until you hit that juice spot. The only thing is the wrapper's like a bowl. <laughs> so you like rip that open and you know, like It's you, the static from yeah. the ring. So I, I ended up having to take all my snacks and going over to the mess hall. Uh, no, I keep saying mess hall when we went in the army. I keep, I keep going over the I went over to the tavern to eat my snacks and shit over there. And I was sitting there ate me like a couple oatmeal cream pies and I'm sitting down at the table with y'all. And I sat down, I haven't eaten. This is the moment, I'm fixing to get to eat. And I'm super excited about it. I open my box and I sit down. Somebody looks at me and goes, hey, can I have one of those? <laughs> but I haven't eaten all day. Well, I just want one. There's I was there for this. I know, yeah, you yeah. were there. I was like, I haven't eaten all day. I'm like, I just want one. But. <laughs> so I hand one out and somebody's like, can I have one too? No. <laughs> no. no. I'm see where this shit's going. I've counted how many people this is a table. Fuck on all y'all. I'm gonna leave it to mine. <laughs> but I gave one out because you know, I don't like seeing people cry. Mm. So I, anyway, I had my oatmeal cream pies and I went back to bed. I mean, it's a it's a really boring story, but the Doritos is the thing that made me remember it because I'm sitting there trying to. I'm looking at this bag of Doritos in my bed with people around me trying to sleep, thinking, how the hell am I gonna get those out of there? Mm. It into me. <laughs> Without waking up nobody. I take them outside and you stomp the bag is what you do. <laughs> and turn them into crumbs and just pull me out. <laughs> That's the only way. Because you can't even eat them quietly. As y'all really? heard a minute ago. <laughs> And that's uh, why you don't eat Doritos at night. Mm -hmm. Especially if someone that's making love. We're on a podcast. <laughs> We're on a podcast. Oh, I will be. Ladies and gentlemen, your death story was told by the man I said that looked like motherfucking Johnny Depp. Well, I, yeah. You know. uh, yeah, I, you know. <laughs> he hit his head with a shovel or something. Yeah. <laughs> and he still. Get... <coughs> anyway. Damn burrito. We go. <laughs>